Chris, you're the man. Uh, I didn't even hit oh, Saquon. Oh, 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 I can't come on this show. Oh, hold on. And, and talk about Sam Darnold. Okay. Hey, I, no, I just want to say, I just want to say this. I give, you the, I give you the floor. I was going to go Saquon since, you know, he plussed up the no, Eagles it, quite a bit, but that, that let's, was. Let's do, let's do Saquon, but just on okay. the record, we did mention Sam Darnold and how damn good he looked. And I, for one, am not surprised. Let's talk about Saquon Barkley. No, no, no. Listen, Sam, and, and you want to talk about uh, exercising ghosts. He went into the place where he famously saw ghosts. Yeah. And and took care of business. He was terrific. But that was great. You, but you know, I, I'm I'm not surprised either. Obviously, Kevin O'Connell's great, and you know, Justin Jefferson's no slouch to throw to, and Aaron Jones looked great too. So the Vikings deserve the flowers there. But I, I, I would be remiss if I didn't bring up Saquon to you yeah. and what yeah. what you think. Like, that's not an outlier, right? Like, this is this is him in, behind this line and this offense, and, and this is what we're going to see this year, I think, health-wise, too. Let, let me put on my green glasses here. Okay. So, so you know, I'm a, little bit, I'm a little bit of a homer, but um, I also – I also – they weren't – they weren't a very good team last year at the end of the season. So, like, that was obvious. They were sliding. They got better. Um, it, that's one thing you can say about that team immediately. I thought Kellen Moore, you know, Saquon was – I'm so happy for Saquon as a dude, as a player. I've been on a bad franchise where, you know, like, we're winning one game a season or two games a season, and, you know, the, our ceiling's seven. And that was my career in St. Louis. And so I can definitely, and I was never Saquon, you know, while I was like, I'm wasting some talent. Like this guy's wasting a lot of talent in New York. And um, to see him get an opportunity, knowing the kind of guy he is, not not personally, but hearing about him, um, seeing how happy he looked after the game. I just really want this to work out. And uh, I think it is going to work out. And I think it's the perfect marriage for, for both groups. I mean, you think about Howie Roseman who hadn't invested in the running back room and then he goes and gets the guy. And uh, I think Kellen Moore was great. There was a lot of pre-snap motion. They were under center some. Um, there, there, was, there were hot answers versus the blitz. Like this group got better schematically immediately. And I thought the guys in the back end hung tough. Mitchell, who they really like, hung tough. He dropped it deep over like at some point in the game late, but generally very, very good. And uh, Zach Bond, you know, people are like, oh, Devin White didn't get on the plane. Zach Bond did a terrific job in all phases of the game. Uh, he's going to be a kind of like an unexpected star for them. You know, how he's brought in veteran free agents before that people were like, oh, they're going to make a difference. But maybe this guy makes a huge difference. And then same thing, the front with the hidden plays, you know, in the red zone, forcing a hold, um, you know, BG nine and the young kid, 97, forcing Jordan Love to throw the ball to the back of the end zone late in that game, force a field goal. Jalen Carter was really disruptive. Okay. Like the injury was totally unfortunate um, and certainly not dirty for anybody. I read some about, Hey, I was dirty. Like the you people, you people have never been on the ground <laughs> scratching and clawing for your livelihood with a hand around a guy's ankle. You don't know who's on top. You're just, you're just trying to get the person down. Um, Jalen Carter is disruptive as hell. Jordan Davis had a nice day. So I do think the Eagles got better and, and they're exciting. It just, you watch Dallas and you're like, okay, it is a truly a two horse race because Dallas looks like they're, they're pretty good. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to three Eastern for free.